Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to another video. Boy, do I have a mess here. I have to show you these colors so I can get this organized and get this pour going because I am super excited about this one. A uh, really quick update about Clyde. He is home. He is resting. Um, his He was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and it's pretty bad. So they have him on medications. Uh, he's not in any pain and his breathing is much better. So it's a day by day thing, but I just wanted to thank all of you for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. So I'm um, just pray for me, please pray for him. Pray for me. So I want to move on because I don't want to get upset. Today's pour, I am going to do a Pyramids of Giza theme. I have three canvases here that are triangles, obviously, that represent the pyramids. I have a big one and two smaller ones. Now, I'm only going to be able to do one at a time on camera because my table just is not big enough for the layout. But when this is done and it's dried and resin, I will make sure to show you the complete set up on the wall uh, in case you're interested in it. I think this is going to turn out really, really pretty. So the colors I'm using are going to, I'm going to be doing a split color Dutch pour on these, believe it or not, but I'm not using regular Dutch pour paints. I'm going to be using the bloom recipe, which will be down in the description. So I have house paint going on the base and my colors are mixed with an untinted house paint and some polycrylic. All right. And then we have the cell activator, but I really wanted to try this with the bloom recipe. My last two videos were just regular Dutch pours, uh, split color Dutch pours that turned out beautiful. If you haven't seen them, I'll link the video above right now and at the end of this video. Uh, but I wanted to try it with this recipe because the cells and the look is totally different. So first thing I want to show you is the colors I'm using. So this is the new Prism Pour that will be available in an upcoming weeks from Color Art. This is the, um, I'm sorry, drawing a blank, <laughs> Egyptian coin. Now I'm going to add a little bit more in there because I didn't add enough in. But it's a really, if you look at the stick, see how bright and, and Oh, it's just lovely, lovely gold. So that's that one. I want to show you two other colors. You've already seen the, the gold, the bronze, and the copper. I want to show you two other colors that are going to be coming out because they are absolutely divine. This here, I'll put the flash on so we can see good, is called Green Envy. Absolutely delicious. Okay. And then there's Holly. That would be this next one. These are eight ounce tubs. Look at that color. Would you just look at that? It is sexy. You can see the sparkle in there. Here is the gold, by the way. Just because I didn't have enough of it in my cup. So I wanted you to see the real color of it. And then this last one stops my heart. It's called Hot Orchid. Look at that. So these are just, these are paint. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can thin them out with a little water and pour with them which I'm going to be doing. You can add them to your bloom recipe. You can add them to whatever you want. You don't need to though. They already have a, a uh, base in them where you could just thin them out with some water and pour. Look at that sparkle. Oh, I cannot wait for these to come out the full line. But like I said, in a couple of weeks, they will be here. So I'm using that gold and I'm using this hot orchid color, which by the way, that is the label. Very pretty. 
Um, and then I'm using a couple of primary elements. I'm using an interference violet. This is the violet sold by Color Art also. The Prison Port also sold by Color Art. Um, this here is Robin's Egg. And then Caribbean Mist. That's this one here. All right. Here is the Hot Orchid mixed up, ready to go. Then we have your normal uh, golden colors. Well, this is a whole bind. This one here is Luminous Rose. I have Ultramarine Blue. I have Cobalt Turquoise. Those are all by Golden. And then this last one here is Teal by Golden. So I'm looking for a gold, uh, teal blue with a contrasting pink to my palette. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to design these one at a time. And then at the end, I'm going to try to line them up so that you can see them in totality.
them to you this way and then once they're dry and resined and I'm able to move them around, I will do what I said. But anyway, um, look at those colors. They are going to look magnificent under resin. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the big one for the center. And here are the two little ones. I was having a little bit of a hard time pushing this paint with that blow dryer because it's really, really thick. But there's that new uh, hot orchid color shining through. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I hope you did too. I wish my camera would focus. I don't know what's going on with it. And here is the third one. The two end pieces are the small ones, obviously, so... Believe me, once this is resined and out in the sunlight, it's going to look a whole lot different so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing give it a like share it watching the video uh, thoroughly helps the channel tremendously uh, using my Amazon link to do your shopping whether it be for art supplies or not helps tremendously um, all of my stuff is in the description as far as Facebook. I have a group with Lisa Wyatt Art called United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And we have monthly challenges in that group. If you're interested in joining, you can share your art and um, get some help from some people if you need it. Great, great group, I'll tell you that. And most importantly, I just want to thank you for watching the video. Have a great day, my friend, and happy pouring.